With just a single image, I created multiple AI animated stories, each with their own unique animation style. Hey there, my name's Ren, and I've always been an inventor, but I've never built something quite like this before. I guess that makes sense when you're talking about interdimensional travel. Oh, and this is Widget, my robot cat. We do everything together, even if that means traveling to new universes. I couldn't believe we had finally done it. Everything felt so electric. I really thought we had full control to go wherever we wanted. Turns out there were a few cracks in my plan. The universe literally shattered beneath my feet. And somehow, we ended up here. Blue skies, fluffy clouds. It feels like a dream. And honestly, I'm not ready to wake up just yet. Everything you just watched was 100% AI generated, all from one image. You see, most people are telling you to use multiple images and several complex prompts to create high quality AI animations. But the truth is, when it comes to AI, simplicity wins. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how I created all three of those animations and everything was made from a single image. And the best part, by the end of this video, you'll be able to create as many AI animated stories as you want using a single image of your own. Every single tool and prompt I used are linked in the description below. Step one, create hero shot. We're going to generate the image that's going to power all of our animations. To do this, we'll be using a platform called OpenArt since it allows us to use all AI models in one place. Once we're at the OpenArt homepage, we'll click on image. For our hero shot, we'll be using Nano Banana Pro, but feel free to try Seedream 4.5 since results can vary depending on what the goal is. Now for the prompt. We want to go for a 3D Disney Pixar animation style. Here's the full prompt. Remember, it's important to make this prompt as detailed as possible since this image will be the foundation of everything we're about to build. So, we have a short description at the top of the prompt. Then we describe our subject, the companion, which in this case is a tiny robot cat, the background, the style, and then we finish the prompt with any last instructions. Also, we've included a front view, side view, and back view of our characters so that the AI will never have to guess what the characters should look like from any angle. Lastly, we've made sure that the characters are isolated on a pure white background because the less distractions there are, the better AI performs. For the aspect ratio, we'll go with 16 by nine and then we'll select the highest resolution available. After a few generations, this one is exactly what I was looking for. Although I do wanna make a little adjustment. I'll remove the name tag and the light on her collar because I know this might cause distortion when we start generating videos. So with this prompt, I got back this final hero shot. Moving on to step two, create variant hero shots. Now that we've got the perfect hero shot, we can use it as a reference image to create new hero shots for any scenes, styles, or stories that we want. My animation needs two more styles. So for the first one, I'll just upload the hero shot and use this prompt. Keep it simple, no need to overcomplicate things here. Here's what we get. Then for the last animation style, we'll use this prompt. And this is the result. Moving on to step three, generate start frame. I always like to start my animations with an establishing shot that gives the audience context about where the story is taking place. So we'll start by uploading the hero shot we just generated, and then we'll use this as our prompt. We've broken things down into a short description at the top, then the subject, environment, lighting, and style. You might have noticed that our characters won't be in our starting shot, but the reason why we're still uploading our hero shot is because we want the style and color palette to be consistent. Even if our characters aren't present, the result came out perfect. Next up, video generation. Now we're ready to generate our video. To do this, we'll click video and make sure that we have image to video selected. As for the model, we'll go with Kling 2.6 as I find that it's the current best model for AI animations with the most accurate prompt adherent. Now we upload the start frame we just generated and then we'll use this as our prompt. For our video prompts, we always need to make sure they're detailed enough to include camera movement, actions, and animation style. After a few generations, this one is perfect. Most of the videos follow the same structure we just outlined. We use Nano Banana Pro to generate our start frame using our hero shot as a reference image. Then we use Kling 2.6 to animate the video using the start frame we just made. So for step number five, just repeat the previous steps. Let me show you another scene, but this time we'll include our characters. For the start frame, we'll just upload our hero shot and then use this as our prompt. 
and this is what we get. Let's bring this back to Kling 2.6 with that start frame and add this prompt. The result sets the scene perfectly for what's to come. So how do we animate scenes once our characters reach the new universe? Let's take the side profile scene where they're walking above a busy road. To create our start frame, we need two reference images. The first is our animated comic style hero shot, and the second is the last frame from the scene where they are transported through the portal. Now we just enter this prompt which highlights the subject, the composition, the art style, and the lighting, and this is what we end up with. For animation, we'll go back to Kling 2.6 and use this prompt. I want our characters to look like they're exploring and for the camera to move with them as they walk. And boom, this is exactly what I was looking for. So let's go through the scene where Ren looks up at the sky in the Studio Ghibli world. For the start frame, the only reference image we used was our Studio Ghibli hero shot. And this was our prompt, which described the subject, foreground, companion, and style. I used more detail on Widget since it would be the only character in this scene. And the result was perfect. Now we'll just upload that start frame in Kling 2.6 and pair it with this prompt. We've mentioned that it's a POV animation and then describe the camera, the action of the character and environment, and the audio. And this is what we got. The scenes we've walked through should give you an idea for how to transfer characters and scenes across any story you want, but there are other techniques that really help take our animations to the next level. That is step six, start frame plus end frame video generation. This is the technique that I love to use. You see, uploading the start and end frame of a clip allows us to have maximum control over our results. One great example is this scene where I transport our characters from the 3D Pixar universe to the animated comic style universe. A transition this smooth would never Never be possible with normal prompts. So to generate the scene, we'll begin by creating our start frame. For the reference images, we'll use the start frame from our previous scene and of course, our hero shot. Then we'll use this prompt. Now we've got our start frame, but we also need our end frame. To keep things consistent, our reference images will be the start frame we just created and our animated comic hero shot. For the prompt, we'll make sure to describe important features such as the subject, textures, background, lighting, and style. This end frame is perfect. Once we have our start and end frames, we'll go back to video and change our model to Kling 01, since Kling 2.6 doesn't allow end frames. This is the prompt we're using, which describes key details about the transition between frames. After a few generations, this is what we get. This scene is great, but in my opinion, the most impressive scene of the whole animation is the transition from the animated comic universe to the Studio Ghibli universe. Here's how I did it. As always, I generated my starting frame using my hero shot and two images from previous scenes as context. Then I used this prompt, and this was the result. For the end frame, it was a brand new animation style, so the only reference image was my Studio Ghibli hero shot. After that, I used this prompt which gave me the perfect end frame. After uploading my start and end frames, I then used this prompt. I made sure to describe the action, the transition, and the camera movement. And here's what we ended up with. It's not perfect, but a scene like this can really level up your animation if you edit it correctly, which we'll touch on later. Step number seven, narration. We'll be using Eleven Labs since it's the best voiceover platform available. We'll just click voices and select the one we like most. Let's use Amanda Beans since she sounds young and enthusiastic like our character. Now we'll click text to speech and type the exact words that we want our character to say. We're using Eleven Labs V3 because it allows us to have control over how things are said. Now we'll just enter our prompt making sure to describe how we want each line to be expressed by the voice we chose. And now we're ready for the final step, which is to edit everything together. For the last step, editing. I like to use Premiere Pro for my edits, but feel free to use what's most comfortable to you. Just drop in all your videos along with your voiceover and make sure everything lines up seamlessly. Then you can add any additional transitions, sound effects, and touch-ups to make your animation really stand out. And after doing all of that myself, this is the finished product. Hey there, my name's Ren, and I've always been an inventor, but I've never built something quite like this before. I guess that makes sense when you're talking about interdimensional travel. Oh, and this is Widget, my robot cat. We do everything together, even if that means traveling to new universes. 
couldn't believe we had finally done it. Everything felt so electric. I really thought we had full control to go wherever we wanted. Turns out there were a few cracks in my plan. The universe literally shattered beneath my feet. And somehow, we ended up here. Blue skies, fluffy clouds. It feels like a dream. And honestly, I'm not ready to wake up just yet. This is exactly how I created multiple AI animations using a single image. And now you know how to take your own characters and place them in any story you want. But honestly, creating multiple consistent stories is just one piece of the AI filmmaking puzzle. If you wanna see how to create a single full animation with Nano Banana Pro, then just click the video on screen.